Flowers will be a very hot item today, and you can create your own bouquet or grab one that's pre-made from a restored VW van on South Congress. Tierra Nubama is live with the team behind Burlap and Twine to give us a look. Good morning, Tierra. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. Happy Valentine's to you and to everyone at home joining us this morning. Yes, I'm with Burlap and Twine, and this morning they're on South Congress. This is a portable flower shop. You guys are cruising around town and, sure. you know, bringing some joy through yeah. flowers. So this is awesome. Jackie, how would you guys get started? And uh, today, where can people find you? Yeah, so we actually started just in April is when we launched. Um, so we're fairly new to the Austin scene, but we have felt the love. So thanks, y'all. Um, and we actually started this as a pandemic pivot. Um, I was let go from my job when COVID hit and we decided that we wanted to do something that was fun, creative, philanthropic, and also really awesome for the community. So that's kind of how we got started and here we are now. Um, we pop up every weekend um, as long as the weather's A-OK -okay, and you can find us all throughout Austin. So it really just depends on the weekend and we put our schedule up on our website and our Instagram. So we're nomadic. <laughs> and this morning we're here at the Salty Donut, yeah. a cool, cool donut shop on South Congress. We'll actually check in with them in the next hour of Good Day Austin. But Rick, you know, you guys are also giving back to the community. How so? We are. So 10% of what we make goes to local non-for-profits. Uh, currently right now we are partnered with Out Youth and we try to change up our partners uh, about once a quarter if we can. Yeah. Why was that so important to you guys? We wanted to give back. Like, we have always really admired the brands that do some good. So we also want people to feel really good about their purchase. So when they're going, having a creative moment, having a bouquet that they made on their own and saying, like, I just did something great for the community while doing it, it meant the world to us. We want to make the world a little bit better. I love it. And you, and you guys are through flowers as well, especially today, Valentine's Day. Okay, so what's hot? What's going to be flying off the shelves this morning? Yeah, rose forward for sure for V-Day, so we definitely hit the mark on that. Um, and we also have some local stuff. So right now, it's just now starting to be flower season here in Texas. So ranunculus is are starting to pop mm -hmm. up as well as local anemones. So we have a couple things from Winkleman Farms. Um, and as it starts getting warmer out, we're going to have more and more local. But lots of pinks and whites, um, but something for everybody. Okay, so what's the game plan when somebody comes? Uh, you know, you guys have a lot of stems out. You can just buy by the stem. Can you create your own bouquet? Do you guys have some made, all that? Yeah, so we have something. You pick your journey when you come. So we definitely have everything priced per stem. So if you want to spend a dollar twenty-five, you can. If you want to make a big old bouquet at 50 you can. So you, it's your journey. And then we usually do have pre-mades made as well so if you're in a hurry you can grab you can go um, but yeah it's whatever you choose to do and we also can just make it for you if you feel a little intimidated okay well how fun it smells fabulous and then let's talk about the van a little bit so uh, do you guys want to tell me about it well she's definitely the star of the show <laughs> without her we we would not be where we are right now this is Norma we actually Literally. found her in Dripping Springs she's local she's local <laughs> uh, she's a 1971 one single cab and what's so wonderful about her is her gates come up and down so she is perfect for our flower truck um, so we love her dearly and we named her Norma actually after his late grandfather Norm yes. really really cool story well Rick and Jackie such a cool project you can find Burlap and Twine on social media follow along to see where they're gonna be popping up with around town really all the time like they mentioned they always have a different variety of flowers what's kind of in season what's low Local, and uh, they're here at the Salty Donut this morning. There's already been people coming up, Amanda, and wanting to grab some flowers, so get those last-minute bouquets. And, uh, hey, grab a gourmet donut while you're at it. We're going to hop into the Salty Donut. We'll check back in from there in the next hour of Good Day Austin. Back to you. They are all beautiful behind you. Gorgeous flowers, and it doesn't always have to be a rose. It's gorgeous. Tierra, thank you so much. Checking with you a little later.